DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson is speaking. Busy day. Um, we met earlier this morning with the Secretary of State. Uh, we've had internal party meetings. Uh, our group has met for the first time since the campaign. Delighted that all of our members are here today to register uh, for the Assembly. Uh, and we want to see this place up and running as soon as possible. We want stable, uh, devolved government. We are committed uh, to uh, our participation in those institutions. However, as I have made clear, before the election, during the, collect uh, the election campaign at every opportunity and uh, now, post-election, our position remains as it was, and that is that we need to see the issues around the protocol dealt with decisively by the government. We need decisive action by the government to address the difficulties created by the protocol, whether that is driving up the cost of living, whether that is the harm that it's doing to businesses and our economy, or indeed uh, in undermining political stability in Northern Ireland. The protocol needs to be dealt with. Uh, we sought a mandate from people uh, to uh, adopt the stance that we have taken, uh, and we will continue as we recognise others uh, also have a democratic mandate. We want to work with them to deliver uh, stable government for Northern Ireland. But the long shadow of the protocol uh, is casting uh, its mark over this place. It needs to be dealt with. I want stable government. I want government to have sound foundations. The protocol undermines the foundations of our political institutions. Uh, it has altered our constitutional status without our consent. It has created a border in the Irish Sea without our consent. It needs to be dealt with. This, along with our other priorities, is what uh, my team is dedicated to addressing. We, we stand by the commitments we made in our manifesto, our five-point plan, and key to that is getting the stability that we need to move forward to address the issues that matter to everyone in Northern Ireland. I'm going to take um, a, 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 number, a, a short number of questions, and then I have a bilateral meeting that I've got to uh, participate in with some of the other parties, so you'll forgive me if I've got to move on. So, uh, Well, it is democracy because we sought a mandate. Sinn Féin, at every general election, seek a mandate not to take their seats at Westminster. And they don't take their seats at Westminster. And no one uh, blames them. Uh, people, the other political parties, don't point the finger at them because they say, we have a mandate. Well, I have a mandate. The DUP has a mandate. And our mandate is clear. We want to see political stability. We are, de we are Democrats. We want the political institutions to work. But we re-entered the uh, institutions on the basis of new decade, new approach. That remains the agreement that formed the basis of power sharing in Northern Ireland after three long years of Sinn Féin boycotting these institutions. New decade, new approach. The government gave a firm commitment to protect Northern Ireland's place within the UK internal market. Two and a half years later, they have done nothing to honour that commitment. I'm holding them to that commitment. Tomorrow, I will be holding the Prime Minister to that commitment. And that's what I will continue to do until this job is done, until the government honours what it said it would do, protect Northern Ireland's place within the United Kingdom. That's what needs to happen. That's what I sought a mandate from the people of Northern Ireland to do. And I'm asking other democratic parties to respect my mandate as much as they want me to respect theirs. What I will not do, Vicky, I'm not going to go back on my word. I'm not going to say one thing to the electorate and the day after the election do a vote fast. I'm not going to do that. I gave my word. I sought a mandate on the basis of sorting out the protocol. I'm committed to doing that. The sooner it happens, the better. If there's no movement on the protocol, will you vote for another election in six months' time? Well, um, the other unionist parties must speak for themselves. Uh, I am clear. We will uh, nominate to the executive as soon as the government takes decisive action to deal with the protocol. The man with the stopwatch is Brandon Lewis. The people who can deliver the change uh, are Boris Johnson and the government. We are very clear about that. Frankly, the sooner they do it, 
the sooner we can get things properly functioning again here at Stormont. That is what I want. That is what I am committed to. But I don't control the timing of that. The, the ball is now firmly at the foot of the government. They have talked for a long time. Last July, they published a command paper. They set out very clearly what the problem was. They accepted there was a major problem with the protocol, but they have yet to take the steps that are necessary to address that problem. So I want the government to act. I expect the government to act. They know what they need to do. I made that clear to the Secretary of State this morning. Well, um, you know, they've been at this for months and months and months. And last September, I set out very clearly the steps that my party would take in the absence of agreement between the EU and the UK government. I was patient. I gave more time. I extended uh, uh, what I thought were realistic and, and reasonable uh, time frames. I extended them. But this has been dragged on and dragged on. And I'm not prepared to watch and stand on the sidelines as the can is kicked further down the road. That's not acceptable. They've had months to sort this out. It is their responsibility to do so. And I'm saying to the EU and to the UK government, I'm not interested in their parallel universe. I'm interested in the real world, which means sort this out and take the action now to remove the RIC border. Thank you very much.